One, two, one, two. How cool are these plans? Well, I know you've been planning something, and you've gone into that much detail. <laughs> oh, dear. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the shop tour. And um, before we start, can we have a coffee? There we go. Canada's finest. Oh, is it? Haha! <laughs> 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 ha, new unit! This is for a shopkeeper, this is kind of when you get something new, it's like you spend a lot of time just going like that. Oh, look at it. Do you think it's better? Do you think this is better? You know what? He was so excited when oh, these units came in. It was great. You know, when you're over prepared and you just sat there waiting for something to arrive. This was me. But they do look good. Units. But yeah, we're pleased with them. And um, it's also given us a chance to get out some of our cheaper stuff so you can buy yourself a nice, complete Master of the Universe figure. Anti theft device. For a teller. Ten pound. What his weapon alone's got to be worth a ten off. Well, he's got to be worth. Yeah, it's probably worth that. But you know, yeah. matter. <laughs> Let him out, get him out the door. What loads yeah. of cool stuff around here? So I've got loads of toy bears figures, loose toy bears. There's a little bit of everything around here. I've got a Dick Tracy in there. Look at that. With his bat on. What else we got? Star Trek. People come in asking for Trek. There you go. Can't complain now. Down here, loads of next generation Playmates figures. I'm trying to mix it up. Please everyone. Truck first! No, we've got loads of trucks in. Loads and loads. We've got about 60 of them. We bought a huge collection a few weeks ago and we've added to it um, so you can get yourself a nice cab of a truck for about 25 quid, which is a lot cheaper than the internet. Uh, it started about £15. But you saw something really nice, like the Scania T cab for 45 quid. Lovely, very nice. And if it's not that, you want a back on your truck, we can help you with that as well. Loads and loads of lorries, all here on our new rack. Which I'm basically, I'm just showing you off the racks. That's what I want to do, I just want to show off. These look come these. in this week, didn't they? Yeah, look these are really cool. Look at this. 118, it says 118, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is, yeah. By Joyride, Night Rider kit. I know James has got his eye on this one. Can get but his we've eyes got off some it. others as well. There you go. Got the Gran Torino, got Starsky and Hutch. And the most popular one, by far, is the General Lee, Dukes of Hazard. We sell loads of these, so we can't keep these in, can we? Yeah, I think the difference with those, it's really hard to get a 118th scale Knight Rider car, mm. and it's really hard to get a Dukes of Hazard. At the moment, nobody produces it. They produce some of the other cars for Dukes, yeah. but not, not the actual General Lee. And it's the same with the Knight Rider car. I don't think you can get the bigger models. You can get no. smaller ones. Because these are quite old now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're getting on a bit. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool. Nice to have them in, and also it's a bit, of a, a bit of a flashback to the past of having loads of them. But no, nice to see three of them in. Supernatural's Tomb of Doom. There's one here, one here, and here. Yeah, Supernatural's are a cool toy. Part of the hologram sort of range, so you could move the figure around. So this little ghostling, you move him around, and he has a little hologram on him. And they're very cool. Very expensive to produce, I'd imagine, which is probably why they stopped. But the Tomb of Doom is breaky. All around the head, it normally breaks and normally is damaged. There's a key that normally gets lost. All three examples we've got, we've got one that's sealed. We've got one that's in lovely condition that's complete in a box, which is spanking. And we've got a loose, complete one as well. So whatever you poison, we've got one for you. Last time we talked about modern Zoids, but now we've got something even better. Loads of vintage. There we go, we've got all the heavy hitters, Zoidzilla, Great Gargon, Red Horn the Terrible, and they're brilliant. They're, so, they're mostly complete, but as you know, with Zoid, there's so many tiny little bits, and they're so breaky. And for those that don't know, Zoids were little wind-up toys. Let's see if he still works. Fingers cut, oh, that looks promising. Here we go, are we ready? Oh, look at that. And he would creep along the floor. Fantastic. Oh, careful, nearly lost him there. <laughs> Very fragile, but really cool. Action Force, or G.I. Joe, as the Americans and most of the rest of the world calls it. But for me, if you're my age, it was always Action Force. And in fact, this figure was my first Action Force figure as a child. 
Well, I say this one. Obviously, it wasn't this one, and obviously, he didn't have his gun because Mum immediately threw that in the bin. But this guy was my rock climber, mountain climber, whatever go to guy that went with my Fisher Price adventure people and occasionally got in battles with the Star Wars figures, which was always a bit confusing. Um, but this was how my action force was as a kid. This was the stuff that I remember. And then, basically, we got into some stuff later. And stuff like this, this is, this is a UK exclusive, this is Gaucho. He came with the command center playset. He's very cool. This is an absolutely beautiful example. No cracks, no issues. He has been rebanded, obviously, because that's why he stands so nicely. But he's lovely. Love him. And we've also got Jammer. Really nice chest emblem on that one. Again, rebanded. Again, no issues. Really nice example. These are hard to get in the UK, never mind the US. So really pleased to have these. And these are just repainted the American figures. You could buy the same figure in America, it's just paint slightly different. So yeah, I love these. These are Tiger Force, both these. Hard to get, these are nice complete ones. And, uh, we, and what I loved about it as well, we see different ones. This is Brazilian, there you go. He's a Brazilian chap. And I loved all the variations that they did with Action Force. You could buy this in the G.I. Joe. You can get quite a run of these in different colors. I love that. I like the idea of actually having a few of the escape armors in different colors. And of course, in the UK, you had the Kraken. Not quite as cool as the Kraken <laughs> that you're thinking of if you're in America, but wow, he's really cool, isn't he? We also have a bit of variation on packaging. This is a twin pack. This is an Action Force twin pack, which makes this quite a hard thing to get hold of. In fact, it's the first one of these I've had for a long time. They did reissue it um, some time back. Not quite like this though, it looks quite different. And this was the card that I remember as a child on Derby Market. That was the one, or in Golden Games. I lusted after all the Action Force packaging. And then we've got uh, some Fun School, and this I think this is Argentinian. Somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, memory serves me. Um, but the, most, the thing I'm most pleased with here, and it's quite a humble vehicle really, is this. And the reason why I'm so pleased with it is because it is surgically perfect. It is. It has no issues. Somebody's screaming at the TV now going, it has, it's got this. But no, it's, look, it's got the original aerial and it has, this is all perfect, this works perfectly. It's bang on. I have never had a loose one of these as nice. Every one I've had, it would have had to be sealed to have survived. So it's, it's really lovely to have something as humble as this, but yet in this sort of condition, it is stunning. This is the thing I'm most pleased with. It's amazing. Isn't it? This is better. Robo Skull. Yes. How awesome is he? They are amazing, aren't they? They really are. It's like a like a skull tie fighter. It is. It is. <laughs> and it's brilliant. And, and his driver. Was he only available with this or was he a separate figure? He was available with that. I think there were a few which were mailed yeah. away. You yeah. know? But it was Pally Toys, so they but did anything they him. wanted. But look at that face. He's a bit Vader, isn't he? He's cool. Yeah, yeah. well, that's a lot of the influence. You can tell yeah. it's a TIE fighter, oh, isn't well, it? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing. Even my 12-year-old my son said to me when he saw him walking with one of these, he went, Dad, that's sick. And that's when I thought, <laughs> hold on a minute. This is a cool toy yeah. that appeals to all ages. <laughs> they are brilliant, Robo Schools. And exclusively yeah, available pretty much on the Action Force Pally toy line. Yeah. So there's, there's nothing else out there. It's just just here. But they don't grow on trees out here. No. They are hard to get hold of. They are, they're not many of them, are no. they? No. So it's nice to be able to have two. <laughs> this one isn't quite complete. It's nearly there. We're it's missing close. the top one of those and one of these red things. And in parts alone, these oh, wedge up. Price-wise, they're expensive. But he's got his red wolf in there as well. There he oh. is. There's Red Wolf. I just want that figure. I want it all to be they're fair. a great figure. I mean, a great make figure. a good drawing as well. Yeah, they're a cool figure. Yeah. You always want to draw things. A... I always want to draw yeah, you always technical want to draw things. things. But yeah, I love it. So that's what I think that's what I like about Action Force so much is that there's just so many different things to collect. You can, and I know I've said in the past it is a little bit of a bane of my life, but mm. I do, there are some bits where I get really do genuinely get excited about I'm it. like that, because it's, it's not for me, because military and army stuff. Yeah. But as you say, the Kraken. Yeah, he's amazing. He's and, ace. And the escape armor. Oh yeah, again. Yeah, and I think, I think for me, it's those humble figures like this, mm. 
that are, that are my favourites. Yeah. They're the ones that I like, the ones with no... And, and of... the Skeleton Man, what's his name? Oh, Skeletron. Skeletron. Yeah. What a name. <laughs> Great. This is my favourite cabinet in the shop. The world's come a long way since then, but in the 80s, these were toys for girls. So we call this the girl toy cabinet. And recently, we've got loads of the big, uh, the big items in. We've got some Care Bears. Love the poseable Care Bears. Got a little, uh, little plan for them. Got some Rainbow Bright figures. Rainbow Bright herself is sold, of course, because she doesn't hang around very long. Wuzzles. See, they're all very similar, these figures. You had your big plush versions, and then these little posables, which were a little bit less money, and you could line them up on your shelf and display them really nicely. That's Ella Roo from the Wuzzles. What else have we got? A popple. We've unsuccessfully flipped these round in the shop before, so I'm not going to do that now, because <laughs> it takes forever. What else have we got? Oh, one of my absolute favourites. You can go down there. Glow Friends. Now these were a spin-off. If you remember the uh, the glow worm from the 80s, big green bug, you squeezed him and his, uh, his face lit up. These are little glow-in-the-dark bugs. Little pocket money sized ones. That's kind of how it worked back in the 80s. You had your big plush ones and they had little pocket money sized ones. And further down, pound puppies. <laughs> Look at them. How cute are they? They've recently re, uh, reissued these in the original packaging and everything. Very cool. And one I've never seen before. A lion. Pound puppy's lion. How cute is he? Look at that. And then we go down a little bit further. We've got the, uh, the Puffalump stickers that you remember we picked up in uh, Toy Shop on Tour. Fluppies. Again, these are the vinyl versions of them. They had the, uh, the big plush ones. And these were your, you know, your pocket money editions. Very cute. Everyone knows Furby from the 90s, one of the most annoying toys ever made. You couldn't have a girl toy cabinet without my little ponies. That's Applejack. She needs a little bit of scrub. He's only nine pound. Let's finish on this guy. <laughs> he came in with a load of plush the other day. Heathcliff, you remember him? And he's in lovely condition. Look at him, it's like he's, he's been sat on a shelf and carefully cleaned and dusted since, I don't know, it would be the mid 80s or so Heathcliff, I think. And he's just 15 pounds. Just 15 pounds for Heathcliff. I was very close to taking him home myself. Sticking with the cute and cuddly theme. No, no, oh. me. No, no, it is this. Um, we got... <laughs> Sticking with the cute and cuddly theme. I wanted to point out some things that are kind of just, from, just for the UK viewers. So Ed the Duck from Children's BBC. We've got a couple of those in, including Mary's bomber jacket, it was really cool. Um, we've also got Super Ted and Spotty. Spotty though has lost his nose, sadly. He's, he's, got, he's lost his nose look. I feel really sad for him. But they're really hard to get nice now. So it was nice to have a couple of UK exclusive things in there. And there we have in the back of there, the classic Roland Rat. I can't do the noise, but I'm sure you all are right now at the telly. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but we've actually had some Secret Wars figures in. How lovely is that Spider-Man? No rub whatsoever. And we've got uh, Doctor Doom there, Magneto, Kang, Captain America, Doc Ock. And there you go. Unfortunately, as always happens with him, his arms fall off. His octopus arms. But they're all there, so it's your choice. You can glue them on if you want. But most importantly, we've got this guy. He was from the later wave of figures, and you had like Symbiotic Spider-Man and a couple of others, and it is Falcon. Now, most of you know him looking like this, but that's what he originally looked like in the comics. Much cooler. Check out that bright orange. And the wings are always missing. And this guy is complete and in great shape.
Right, so that's it, isn't it, Gav? Yeah. Better get home door. Yep. People will be hammering on the door, trying <laughs> to buy toys. Speaking of which, if you want to come hammering on the door, we're open 10 till 4 every day apart from Sundays, where we're lazy and doing other things. Yeah. Yeah. But you can check out all the times and where we are on the Facebook page. So don't forget to... Like and subscribe. And... Click stuff. There you go. Cued that nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Come on, let's get opened up. <laughs>